police in Lagos State on Friday embarked on a show of face across major areas of the state ahead of a planned Yoruba Nation rally scheduled to hold at the Ganifayami Freedom Park on Saturday. The rally had in the past taken place in Ogun State, Ondo State, Oshun and Ekiti, and Oyo State. According to pictures released by the command, hundreds of heavily armed police officers were seen in different locations within the state. Adejobi, the Lagos police spokesperson in the statement obtained by Sahara reporters, stated that the show of face was to send a warning signal to the organizers of the said mega rally or any group of persons planning to stage any rally or procession in the state despite the warning issued during the joint press briefing by the Commission of Police, Lagos State, CP, Akim Ademosho, and the Honorable Commission for Information and Strategy, Lagos State, Mr. Benga Omotosu. The police and the state government had earlier announced a ban on protest saying the move was to forestall violence in the state. The command and other security agencies, including the Nigerian Army, Nigerian Security and Civil Defense Corps, Federal Road Safety Corps and Department of State Services have, however, put measures in place to prevent any act of lawlessness, oppression and intimidation of any kind in the state on the set date, 3rd July 2021, and beyond as Lagos State cannot afford to record and experience the violent state by some individuals during the 2020 Einstein's protests that led to massive destruction of lives and properties in the state. The command still reiterated its stance that anyone caught participating or felicitating the so-called mega rally in Lagos will be dealt with within the ambit of the law, Ade Joby said. The move Sahara reporters lands is an attempt to intimidate protesters with organizers saying the action of the police is a violation of citizens, citizens' right to uh, violent free protest. Meanwhile, the umbrella body of the Yoruba self-determination groups, Alina Omo Odidua, has said that the pro na Yoruba Nations Rally will go on as she did. The group, which is headed by a renowned historian and Second Republic member of the Nigerian Senate, Emeritus Professor Banji Akintoye, made this known in a statement on Friday. The statement made available by this group spokesperson, Maswe Adeyeli, said it is the duty of police to ensure the rally is not adjacked by hoodlums. The statement reads, Our rally scheduled to hold on Saturday, we still hold without any fear or intimidation, and we promise to be peaceful like we have always been. We have been peaceful orderly and lawful at anywhere we have visited. Therefore, we call on the Lagos State Police Command to ensure that the rally is not hijacked by hoodlongs. We are happy that the police already know that hoodlongs are likely to hijack the rally. Now we call on the police to ensure such does not happen like it does not happen in Ekiti, Ondo State, Ocean, Oyo and Ogun State, respectively, where we have had our rallies. It is the duty of the police to safeguard our peaceful demonstration and protect us on our own part. We promise to cooperate with the police towards ensuring that the rally is peaceful and orderly, he said. <laughs> oh my God, this is a really bad sign. <laughs> Insanity on display. Go to Sambiasa Forest to display all that, not at a peaceful rally. These people are just shaming themselves. Pharaoh of Egypt, President. Everything written about you is blood. The blood of the voiceless, you and your co travelers, pleads across the land shall not be in vain. 
Mm. The show only can attract protesters. They want to scare protesters away, but trust me, it will make people that's not willing to protest to participate. Nigerians are reacting. No sense. The cost of bringing this security to the street is enough to take off our youth from the street. You can't show off face to bandits, Fulani Hesmen terrorizing everywhere. Now you want to force power to unharm freedom fighters seeking for better living. If you are those who voted for this present government, and you better have 30 days fasting and prayer for total forgiveness. Show of face in a peaceful city, Borunu, Gaduna, Karstina, need this show more. Nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> they are going to war or what are they doing is this government deploying them to Sambia Forest? why did this government like showing the power to the armless innocent civilians which kind of wala be this one now ah Pesinobu can rest again for this country police something when they supposed to they do they know they do them waiting be this this government should organize talk show instead of show of force this will bring unity in nigeria instead of separation this advice is enough for the white